John Patrick Gleason was a, an exceptionally well-known flute player. He he would come over to our house about twice in the year and uh, bring the flute rolled up and in the inside pocket. And he'd sit in, he'd play a few tunes and he'd start to explain to me about these tunes. Now I was only a gossip at the time. It was about music we talked during the night and he'd play a bit and I'd try to play another bit after him and when I'd ask him to do what he used to tell me his father, his father he used to do this, that and the other and, and as I said earlier, I said to him one, what do your father do that you can't do? Oh, have you heard him? And he put it up like this and he, well, good God almighty, the went to roll the stuff out, you think it would walk it out from the door, <laughs> you know, furls and furls and furls, oh, he was, he was an exceptional man. He used to say, you have the taste, the taste, he used to use that word, you have the taste, he'd say. Yeah. And I had the taste for it all right, I, I just loved, he used to go down to his lower room and he'd bring up the flute. And when he'd be just come out the door, he'd put it in the mouth and he'd go, oh my Jesus, he'd, he'd raise the heart in, in, in a dead man. <laughs> he would. He was mighty. He yeah. was mighty. I never met anything as, ex as, ex as exciting mm. as John Gleason, no.